On August 2nd, Google officially pre-announced the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, bringing with it news of a new processor and brand new camera hardware. That includes new image sensors too big to fit into the traditional camera square of previous pixels, thus requiring a new and thoroughly chonktastic camera bar around the back. This news comes not a moment too soon, because if there's one area of Google's phones that's really needed an upgrade recently, it is that camera hardware. Don't get me wrong, Pixel phones can take some genuinely great photos, but its camera hardware has fallen behind the times. The main image sensor used in 2020's Pixel 5 is virtually identical to the one used in 2017's Pixel 2, a 12.2 megapixel unit with optical stabilization. And if you want to go back even further, then the Nexus 6P in 2015 and the original Pixel in 2016 also used pretty much that same sensor, only without the optical stabilization. For most of the past four years, though, that sensor has basically been good enough. Google's strategy around smartphones and most hardware products in general so far has been to differentiate itself through software as opposed to pushing more cutting edge components. That's why even with its serious hardware handicap compared to more expensive phones, the Pixel 5 camera is still really competitive. But like I said, after almost half a decade, the age of the hardware behind that camera experience is starting to show, so it is time at long last for an upgrade. The magic number behind that upgraded main sensor is 50 megapixels. We've already confirmed the camera specs with our own sources, but officially Google isn't giving out any hard numbers just yet. Basically though, it's the first substantial hardware upgrade to the main camera of a Pixel phone. Now back in the day, nobody could touch the Pixel camera, but today smartphone giants like Samsung and Apple have now caught up with Google in computational photography. That's the secret source that leans on the computational power of smartphones to take excellent pictures even on a tiny sensor. And the competition has done that while also surpassing the Pixel line in terms of its camera hardware. These days, pretty much every phone over a certain price point can take excellent portraits and Pixel Perfect night shots. Those tricks are no longer exclusive to Google's phones as they were two or three years ago. As such, right now there's less and less that makes that Pixel camera experience seem special. But new hardware could very well change that, and assuming Google uses off-the-shelf components for its next Pixel camera, the two 50 megapixel candidates are the Sony IMX766 and the Samsung GN2. The Sony sensor is the one we're most familiar with here at Android Central. It's used to great effect in phones like the Oppo Find X3 Pro and OnePlus Nord 2, and you'll also find it powering the OnePlus 9 Pro's ultra-wide camera. Meanwhile, the Samsung sensor boasts larger pixels for better low-light performance and can be found in Xiaomi's flagship tier Mi 11 Ultra. The possibility of a Samsung GN2 being used is interesting because it has the same pixel size as the Google Pixel 5, that's pixels on the sensor itself, at 1.4 microns. So given the resolution jump from 12.2 to 50 megapixels, if Google chooses this Samsung sensor for its next camera, it'll be the equivalent of stitching four of those Pixel 5 sensors together. You see now why Google needs this giant camera visor thing around the back. The Sony IMX766, on the other hand, is a smaller sensor, but is still nothing to sniff at and would represent a major upgrade in its own right. Whichever one of these Google uses, it'll represent a huge step up from previous pixels for one reason above all else, and that is data. Sure, a larger sensor will definitely help to capture moving subjects with less blur or low light scenes with more clarity, but the Pixel camera's most compelling features are powered by data, and capturing four times that data will make the best parts of the Pixel camera even better. While Google's new 50 megapixel shooter will likely spit out 12 megapixel images, since that's all the rage these days with these fancy new quad bias sensors, the extra resolution gives Google's software and machine learning magic more data points to work with. Whether it's detecting depth in a portrait shot, or correcting for the motion of the stars in an astrophotography picture, the larger canvas means the effects in these images will be based more on actual data and less on educated guesswork. And while the effect of that higher res sensor may be less pronounced in everyday photography, Google can also take advantage of the higher resolution to pour more data into good old fashioned HDR+. One obvious example of this that's been lacking from previous pixels might be higher quality motion photos. Another reason to be optimistic about the Pixel 6's camera is the use of new Google-designed silicon. Google's new Tensor processor will reportedly boast a lot more computational horsepower than any previous Pixel, and one area of particular strength apparently is machine learning. Simply put, that means the Google Tensor chip should have its own supercharged 2021 flagship equivalent of the Pixel Neural Core that we saw a couple of years back with the Pixel 4. That'll mean not only will the Pixel 6's camera have more data to work with, but it'll have a fatter straw with which to slurp up all that data and a bigger brain with which to process it. 
So after a relatively conservative year for Pixel cameras in 2020, the Pixel 6 could see Google let rip with a much more competitive array of features. That's especially true around video, where Google has traditionally lagged behind the competition on account of its hardware deficit. When it comes to video, generally you're leaning on hardware muscle as opposed to software smarts, which until now hasn't really played to Google's strengths. But in a recent interview with The Verge, Google is already claiming that the level of HDR Plus applied to a regular Pixel photo will be possible in 4K video on the Pixel 6. Like I said, video has been a real weakness for Pixels in the past, so with all this new hardware at Google's command, the next Pixel might actually be able to compete with the iPhone and top-tier Samsung Galaxy phones in terms of video quality. But that doesn't necessarily mean that all Google's experience with those lower resolution cameras over the years has been a waste. In fact, with the Pixel 6 Pro confirmed to include a 4x telephoto camera, and with a resolution coming in at a room at 8 megapixels, there's room for the super res zoom technology that first debuted in the Pixel 3 series to once again contribute to Google's photographic arsenal. Super res zoom uses the motion of the camera itself as you're holding it to resolve more detail at a 2x digital crop or above. So we'll be watching with interest to see how a super res zoom equipped 4x camera might compete with current 10x cameras from the likes of Samsung's Galaxy S21 Ultra. For the past several years, hacked versions of the Google Camera app for various phones have given us a tantalizing look at what Google's camera technology can do when it's paired with true high-end hardware. And with the looming launch of the Pixel 6 series, we're about to see the results when this kind of setup is properly tuned and combined with the AI brainpower of Google's fancy new smartphone silicon. If it's successful, we could have the most revolutionary Pixel camera yet, possibly even good enough to reclaim the smartphone camera crown for Google. That's it for now, let us know what you think of the Pixel 6's camera down in the comments, and subscribe to Android Central so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.